welcome to the Make Life Fun Show. I'm your host, Josie Wheatman, and I am so excited that you're here. I have graduated the mom game. I have been in it now for almost a year. Can you believe it? Ever is walking. Wow, it's a whole new game. Through the last 25 episodes, I have learned so much and I have grown in my craft. I have grown as a mom. And the biggest thing I've learned is just love, 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 taking it in, giving it out, love, and being in the present moment with my son and continuously just giving him my regulated self as often as I can. And that is what's changing the game in motherhood. That is what's breaking my generation of parenting. If you are new to listening, you are in for a treat. Today, we are talking about how to activate our internal alignment. And I want to welcome you. As you know by now, I am Josie Wheatman, and my desire is to help you, is to help you see the truth of who you really are, to help you with your business so that you can bloom and thrive, to help you let go of that self-doubt that's keeping you stuck, to get unstuck, to help you connect with your intuition and also have balance in your life, both in your work and your play and your pleasure, receiving more pleasure, help you with confidence. And how do we do that? We gain confidence by showing up and then take action and create that game plan. So ultimately my intention for showing up for you is to create a safe place for you to bring all of you to the table as you run your own race. So today we're going to be talking about fear, overcoming fear, using it as jet fuel, and also using your inner power. And inner power to me is that quiet force within that knows and acts and tells us when to move. And it gives us the strength and the courage to keep moving forward. Our inner power to me is our knowing. It is our, I call it my God voice, but it is your loving presence voice. It's your universal, like your power inside of you. So when you claim this inner power and you tap in, that's when you can unlock the true potential of your life. That's when you can learn to start to get out of the way, let it lead you, let it pull you forward. And what I've learned is how to activate that inner power is through healing. It's through feeling safe enough to be able to tap into that inner power. And that is to know that you have your own back. So it's essential to do the healing work of your trauma. And how you start to do that is by sharing your story. If you even were to share your story with your family, your friends, the people close to you, your coach, your counselors, it starts the process of healing. So what telling your story does is allows you to express the emotions of what you're feeling. And when you express the emotion, then you can start to acknowledge it and process it and let it move through your body so that it's not stuck anymore. And that way you're able to let it go. And it, then it becomes transmuted and then it changes form to something more life-giving. Only then can you start to extract the parts of the story that are lessons that you can take forward for yourself and for the people that you serve. And so why is it possible for us to create a new life for ourselves? And I believe that it's because that we're not separate from life. We're part of life. And what life does is it promotes itself. It supports itself in everything in creation from the smallest creepy crawly ant to the biggest animal, to that gorilla, that big gorilla, to the trees, the plants. Like life is always promoting growth. Life is always promoting change. Like we see that every day with the cycles, the way we have winter, summer, spring, fall. Like it's always ever changing, always promoting itself and growing. And so we have to believe and know within ourselves that life is for us. Life is promoting us. Life is supporting us. Life is here for us. And that is where our power lies. And so for thought to be productive and clear and well-defined, it needs to be simple. It needs to be direct. So day by day, thought by thought, we need to create that reality for ourselves. But it starts with that awareness of knowing that I am held, I am seen, I am supported. And I have the power within myself to do all the things I want if and when I choose and decide to get out of the way and let that power pull me forward. A quick question for you. Do you know how to make a cake? Personally, I use the box of cake, so I do the easy cake. But I know there's some of you out there that knows how to make a cake. And when you're making a cake from scratch, there's so much that is needed. You need to decide on the kind of cake you're making. You need to find the tools. You need to get the recipe. There's so much that is needed in order to just start to make that cake. And I believe that's just like crafting your life vision. 
it's much the same because we have to collect tools. We have to get a recipe. We have to know what we're working on. We have to know the goal. We have to be clear. And so there's a process that when you follow it, the universe can't help but meet you there and create with you. And then that's when it becomes fun. That when it becomes easy because then you're getting out of the way, your ego, your humanness, you're able to like get out of the way for a bit and let yourself be guided. Are you safe if you get what you want? Do you know that you are safe if you receive what it is you're calling in? Or is there a part of you that doesn't feel safe calling in what you're wanting? And we're just going to listen here for a moment for that sense of safety. And no judgy, whatever comes up for you, let it be. Just notice it, witness it, acknowledge it. Second question is, what is the upside? What is the upside of getting what you want? Getting what you're calling in, getting your vision. What is the upside? And now on the other side of that, what is the downside of getting what you want? Is there a part of you where that fear lies? And I would write down what comes up for you for these questions. So you have that to reflect on later. Because what we find is actually really gold, the things that come out for us that we can use to move through, move through the blocks and barriers. So what is the downside of getting what you want? Again, no judgment. Who will you be? Who will you be when you get what you want? Who is that woman? What is her strengths? What is her weakness? We're going to pay a couple more beats here. Who will you be when you call in your vision? What are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Remember to keep breathing. Will you recognize yourself or will you be completely different? Who is this new you? Who is it? Do you have a name for her? Keep breathing here. For being the journalists of our internal world. Last and final question for you. What three important things can you commit to today that will get you one step closer? And usually the things that come up are usually pretty simple. It could be something that results to self-care. It could be contacting somebody that can support you, get you there. It could just be just sitting with yourself and going deeper with these questions. What are three important things that are for you that is going to help you to commit to bringing in these, this part of you, this vision, this new you? What can you commit to doing to help her feel welcome? Welcome to show up. Welcome to support. Yeah, write down anything that comes up for you. So easy to get sidetracked. It's so easy for us to get caught in the fear loop, distracted, and we lose focus, we lose hope, we lose belief that it's possible for us to reach our goals. That's why having moments like this, moments of reflection, having somebody who is here to help you and lead you through it so that you can mold that vision is so important and it's so life-giving. So I encourage you to take this time for yourself today to really do this deep work because it is deep work. So the one thing that I have always known that beats fear is courage, having the courage to just do it, do it scared, do it messy, do it with your armpits sweating, your knees knocking. Courage is what beats the fear. And I love this. Batman was afraid of bats. When he became the bats, that made the bat cave with them surrounding him. Isn't that crazy? Batman, terrified of bats, created the bat cave, became a bat. So let that be a lesson for us. The thing that we are fearing, how can we use it as jet fuel? How can we become the thing that we're fearing? How can we surround ourselves with that fear? So for us, we have to acknowledge it. We have to sit with it. We have to go all in on our fear. We have to embrace it. We have to give voice to it. And then we have to remember it's actually love is our body's way, our mind's way of protecting us. It thinks that it's keeping us safe by projecting all these fears onto us. So when we give voice to the fear, then it can start to dissipate. And you say, thank you. <laughs> thank you, fear. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for trying to keep me safe. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to choose courage this time. Or I'm going to face everything and rise. That's the acronym for fear that I love. Face everything and rise. So the secret to happiness is knowing that you're here for a purpose. Even if you don't know what that is yet. And being grateful for what you have in your life right now. Like no matter how hard life gets, there is always a person, a thing, the sun, breath, life itself that we can choose to be grateful for. So what can you appreciate today? What is one thing you could be grateful for? You already have happiness within you. So it's so easy to bring it out when you start to notice things to appreciate, things to love, 
So when you're not feeling happy, ask yourself, do I want to be happy here? Is there a different way? Is there a different choice I can make? And make that choice. Make that choice to be happy by looking for things to be grateful for. You have the power to make a decision to change the thought in your mind that is not serving you. It's just that awareness piece again. So when you're connected to your body and you know who you are and you're present with yourself, when you're feeling off, you can say, I'm feeling off. I can choose a different way of being. What would I like? What do I want to feel? And what is going to help me feel that? Is it going to be music? Is it going outside for some fresh air? You have the power. You have the power. And so our looping thoughts and our habits, they're habitual. They're always going to keep coming. We can never silence them completely. And so we just have to get better at catching them. We have to get better of noticing so that we can break the loop. We can break the cycle. Our subconscious programming, which is that computer program that was downloaded to us when we were a child by the people around us, by the things we saw on TV. And so it's a script. It's just a continuous same script, same program that just plays over and over and over again until we decide we're going to break the loop, that we're going to pay attention. We're going to be aware. We're going to catch it when it's not serving us. And that's practice. But if we consistently implement those better serving thoughts and introduce yourself to self-praise, like you're doing a great job, self-love, like I love you, thank you, thank you. (laughs) And when we commit daily to filtering our thoughts, to noticing our thoughts, to putting in a better thought, we will feel all the difference, which in turn will get us taking action. Because what did I say at the beginning of the week? We do things because we feel like it. If we do not feel like doing something, no matter how many sticky notes we have, no matter how many times we write it in our calendar, no matter how many books we get that we write it down in our journal, it will never get done because we don't feel like it. And so how can we make a thought that gets us wanting to do the thing? So you have the power to cancel or change your thought at any moment with your awareness, with your presence. So the first time you notice something bubbling up saying, oh my gosh, you should go hide. Oh my gosh, this is really scary. Don't show up today. Don't show up for your people today. Like just stay under the covers. Life is scary today. Like that's the thought that's bubbling up. Like let's, oh, let's not show up today. We can choose in that moment to be like, thank you. Thank you, fear. Thank you for trying to protect me. But I'm going to choose to show up. I'm going to choose to be courageous. I'm going to name what I'm feeling. And then I'm going to make a different choice because that is my power. That is your power. And so the quicker you can catch it, the faster you're able to turn it around because it doesn't have the steam yet. So as you start this, this is not going to be easy, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. The more practice you have, the more you can catch it faster. So again, fear, face everything and rise. Or another one is Fear's acronym is false evidence appearing real. Like fear is not real. Fear is just to perceive something that we think is going to happen that usually doesn't happen. And it's our body's way of protecting us in turn, our body's way of showing us love. (laughs) So if we can remember that, then we can use it as jet fuel. So what I do as a coach, what I do in my programs is I hold a safe space for you to deal with that mind drama, to gain that self-awareness by asking you questions, by making it really simple so that we can get down to the truth of the matter because the truth is what sets us free. And the truth is fear is our protector. The truth is you have the power. The truth is you can make a new decision at any time. Our circumstances are never going to change. So we have to decide on new thoughts that give us a different feeling that allows us to take action and we get the results that we want. But the way to do that is with somebody in your corner who is here to support you and lead you and guide you in that way. So I have a visualization practice for us. And for this one, I'm just going to have you go ahead and close your eyes. And we're just going to take a few deep breaths again, connect to ourselves, drop into your center, which is right below your belly button. And how you do that is you just pay attention to it. You just bring your awareness there. So you can place your hand down there underneath your belly button and just do a couple breaths. Where our attention goes is where our energy flows. So if we can give our attention to our center, it gets us out of our heads. It allows us to relax. It allows us to be present in our bodies. And ultimately, it allows us to feel at home and connected to ourself. Now, as you're relaxing your head, your shoulders, or you're relaxing your arms, 
You're connecting to your center, feeling your bum on your chair, your feet on the ground. I would like you to start imagining yourself five years into the future, five years from now. Who are you? Who are you five years from now? What are you creating? What have you created already five years from now? See yourself as achieving the goal that you've set for yourself today. You've done it. You've lived your vision. You've lived your purpose. You're showing up in your fullness. You're using your power. You're asking for what you want. You're loving yourself into life. You've loved yourself into life. And now your life is unrecognizable. You've done it. It's five years into the future and you've done it. What does that look like? What does that feel like? What does that feel like in your body? What is lighting up for you? Where is it lighting up for you? How are you acting? What is your facial expression? What are you wearing? Who are you with? Where are you? Who are you with? What are you wearing? What does it feel like? What does it look like? Hmm. What does it taste like? What does it smell like? Hmm. Notice how good and confident you feel. Notice your power. See yourself as powerful. How does that feel in your body? Can you be proud of this woman? Can you say, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> we did the thing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for never giving up. Thank you for pushing through. Thank you for using the fear as jet fuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I want you to put your hand on your heart and know that you are the person who did it. You are the person that achieved the goal. You, yes, your future self is powerful, confident, beautiful. But you, right here, right now, sitting in this chair, listening to my voice, you achieved the goal. How does that make you feel? Think of all the people and all the ways you were able to impact the people in your household, yourself, the people you chose to show up and serve, your life. You did that. You, right now, right here, you are capable of achieving your goals. Sit with that for just a moment as you breathe in and out. So my job as your coach is to remind you over and over again of this feeling to remind you over and over again of what it is that you want, what is it that you're calling in and why it matters and why you're capable. So all we have is this moment right now, this precious life, this precious moment. We always think later we'll do this, later we'll do that. We don't have later. We have right now, this moment. And it never feels right to take the leap of faith. It never feels right. We have to decide, you have to decide that right now is the time that you burn the boats. You say, I'm going all in. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for the people I serve. It's a decision. And the sooner you show up for yourself, the sooner you get to work. The sooner you create that vision that just lit you up and electrified you. Because I felt it. And I know you felt it. You get to enjoy the fruit of your labor by planting the seed now, which you just did. And now you decide, I'm going to take action on the next baby step. I'm going to do it afraid because I know fear is courage. I'm going to do it afraid because I know fear is false evidence appearing real. I'm going to do it afraid because I know fear is love and my body is trying to protect me because it's been programmed for all these years with where I am right now. So as I try to fit into a new box, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to be, there's going to be discomfort, but I'm ready for the discomfort and I'm ready to show up in love in the discomfort. Love for myself first and foremost. So faith and doubt are both beliefs. So we can choose faith or we can choose doubt. One of them makes you feel powered and empowered, helps you take action, pulls you forward. And the other one does the opposite, completely leaves you powerless, depleted, hiding. So can you call in more faith to allow yourself to be empowered? Because obviously we're going to have doubts. It's something that we've never done before. It's an unknown. We're creating from nothing. It is just a black void. Think of it that way. It is just a blank piece of paper that we are writing and we are creating our reality in that way. And so of course it's going to be uncomfortable. Of course we don't know what's going to happen, but we know in our hearts the emotion we want to feel. We know what we want to create. We have the clarity. You have the clarity. And if you ask yourself, how many times has what you feared actually happened? How many times? And do you know that your body doesn't know the difference between fear and excitement? It's the same feeling in your belly. So what if the next time fear shows up for you, you can say, I'm excited. I'm just going to do this thing. I'm going to choose courage. I'm going to be excited. Can you do that for yourself? The truth is that fear will always be there. But the truth is you get to decide how you're going to use the fear. 
And we always end at the truth. And the truth is what I will always say sets you free. So once you're intimate and truthful with yourself and you're aware of yourself, that allows so much freedom to be who you truly are. And so fear can be used as your jet fuel. That's the takeaway that I want you to have. <laughs> I'm sure you got so many today, but that's the takeaway I want you to have about fear. So now we're going to deep dive into your inner power, which is where you create from, which is what we just did, which is dropping into your center, tapping into your inner power. It all it requires is for you to be present and for you to be willing. And we did that when we feed and nurture our, our internal power with our presence, with our willingness to connect, this builds trust. And the more we do it, the more we memorize the feeling and the more we can start to shatter the box to bloom. And most of us are pushing ourselves to do things that we don't want to do and sheer willpower runs out. So that's why we need that inner power working for us. That's why we need to be pulled, like the pull we have towards our child. Like when your child is first born, oh my gosh, remember how they were your whole world. That love, that pull, that's your inner power. That's what drives you to do the things you want to do. Ultimately, it's love. You get to be involved in your new programming by taking authority over your mind and connecting it to your body to be better heard, understood, and get to know yourself better. So our inner power is here for us at any time. It just requires a couple breaths, some stillness, some willingness. And then when we create from that place, it's powerful. It's ours. It's our vision. It's our answers. We're not looking to the outside world anymore. We're looking within ourselves. You're looking within yourself. You're getting the answers that are only true for you, your truth. So I'm going to remind you again that it's your birthright to bloom into the person that you desire to be. And so shatter the box and bloom is the experience that helps you practice claiming your power over and over again. It's the energetics. It's the lived experience of creating your vision because we can read the books we can watch the YouTube videos, but it doesn't give us a lived experience. It doesn't help us create what we want. We get the knowledge, which is beautiful, which is great, but it is by tapping into that power, getting the answers for yourselves that you get to know what is the next best step for you. So this program is going to help you give up the thoughts and habits that are not serving you anymore. You've outgrown them. They're not you. They're not five years from now you. You're going to give up not trusting yourself because you're going to start to tap in, get turned on with life, with yourself. And you're going to give up the need for everything to be so hard. Can it just be easy? Can we allow more ease? What a concept, more ease. Are you ready? So my premium live mini course, it's going to be eight weeks. We're going to shatter the box to bloom. And I'm going to be with you every week where we're going to tap in. We're going to have guest experts. We're going to have calls of implementation where we can practice, practice visioning, practice taking action, practice taking up space, practice claiming our power, your power. And then the community, that's the best part. The people that we surround ourselves with that are on the same path, that are doing what we want to be doing. We're doing it together. We're holding hands. We're in community. We're not meant to do this alone. We are 95% more likely to do what we want, what we desire when we're in community, when we have that encouragement. And so there's a bonus, a fast action bonus. If you get the Shattered the Box to Bloom by Friday at midnight Mountain Standard Time, if you've ever thought about podcasting, my podcast producer and director has offered to do a free one hour call where you can pick her brain, all things podcasting, all things taking up space, all things using your voice. And then another bonus is my assistant, my executive assistant, Erin. She will show up and she will talk to us about structure and systems and creating a life that you have structure and systems and time management. So that way you're showing up and it's more easeful. And it's all about ease, right? And that is what Erin has done for me, created structure, systems, ease in my business, which has trickled into my life. And so this is, those two bonuses are for you if you get the Shatter the box to bloom by midnight mountain standard time. And so I can't promise you change overnight because it took you how many years of your life to get to where you are today. It's going to take time to become the person that is five years from now doing the thing. But what I can help you with is creating more ease, releasing the struggle, using the paralyzing fear as jet fuel to move you forward, getting into alignment, feeling in your body what it is to do the thing that I can help you with. I can help you take consistent action, action that comes from your deep knowing. So loving yourself into life is the payoff of this program. Blooming, loving yourself, showing up for yourself. 
in a big way. And we need accountability to get things done. If, it, if we did need accountability, there's so many things on our to-do list that would get done every day. But showing up in a group, in a community setting and saying, this is what I'm doing. And then each and every week taking steps to get to it, that is accountability. So I want you to know that if I can do all this, you can too. Remembering what you're calling in is what the and the emotions that you desire to feel is what's going to keep moving you forward. And the things that I'm teaching you are my own lived experience, are what worked for me. So if you're ready to be coachable, I will be there to help you every step of the way so that you can transform into that first of you that you were visioning earlier. Helping you is my calling. My mess is my message to the world. All the things I've learned, all the things I've experienced gets you out of your box quicker. What took me lots of years, you could get this and so much quicker, eight weeks, and you could get energetically tapped in, turned on to your vision. Like, why not? Why not now? So it's time to doubt your doubts. It's time to say your fear is excitement. It's time to face everything and rise. And I am here to show you that it's possible. I'm available to hold that space to do this work, this powerful, magical, life-giving work. you so much for listening to the make life fun show i hope you enjoyed yourself and got a little little gems little pieces of gold that you are taking to heart that you are not just listening but you're going to do something about it i want you to be fired up so yes so we come once a week come back listen to us here we are on all podcasts places you listen we are also on youtube if you like to watch the show at josie wheatman you can find us at make life fun and i am so stoked and also come follow me come play with me on instagram at josie wheatman i am dancing i am showing my sweet baby (laughs) and we're just having a ball we're making life fun and so come hang out with us and thank you again for listening please subscribe to the show follow us, leave us a review because the more you love up on me, other people can find the show and love up on us. And we build this community that is one of love and goodness. Also, I am taking clients. I'm taking one-on-one coaching clients. Like I said, we're talking about Bloom. We have a membership coming up and all the beautiful things. So there is a few ways that you can connect with me on that. So we have my website, which is backrosecoaching.com. You can go on there as well as you can join the mail list. So right now I have a 21 day raise your vibration challenge going on. It's an email challenge completely offhand. You wake up every day and you get these tidbits of goodness that light you up. So why not? It's a 21 day high vibration challenge. It's tools, it's simple, it doesn't require much. Most of them, if you want a little taste, is placing your hand on your heart and telling yourself you love yourself today. So yes, so come hang out with me, jump into my world. I've got you.